hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm actually testing out a new foundation that i just got from sephora it's the born this way matte foundation by Too faced and i picked the shade golden beige um i just wanted to test it out i guess like it has pretty good claims it's oil free oil controlling waterproof and transfer resistant and um, as you guys know, my skin is super oily on the oily side. So I just wanted to see how long this foundation lasts on my skin or on my face before I start to get oily. And yeah, I just wanted to see. And it also claims to be 24 hours, which I'm totally not going to be wearing this foundation for 24 hours. Um, ingredients seem to be good. I'll show you the ingredients right here. And yeah, this packaging, outside packaging is super cute. Some of the things that it actually has is it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, um, which is supposed to empower skin's health and resilience. It has hyaluronic acid. It gives the skin a smoother, more youthful appearance. So those are some of the claims we can see. And yeah, and it says that 99% said this foundation blurs away imperfections. Um, 96 said this foundation feels weightless on the skin. And then 93 said this foundation provides undetectable coverage. And lastly, 92% said this foundation does not require touch-ups. Um, and it, it was just basically done for like a one-week study or something. And then these were like the outcomes or results. So I'm curious to see how this works on my skin, so I'm going to open up the packaging. See, it's similar to their, um, I guess their original um, foundation, but this one is the packaging is a little bit thinner, whereas the other packaging, I believe the bottle is a little bit thicker on the thicker side, or I guess horizontally is a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, it's glass packaging, cute, and there's a pump. I already tested the color out. I believe it'll match me. That's the way it looks used. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna start off by slowly prepping my skin. I'm actually sweating a little bit. I'm filming in um, natural light, and there's no fan or air conditioner, so I'm just gonna blot my face and then I'm just gonna start off with primer I'm using the Ren clean skin cure canvas primer this is silicone free okay I'm just gonna a little bit goes a long way but I'm just putting it all over my skin and just massage that in just gonna let that sink into my skin for a little bit sweating okay then I'm gonna go in with the foundation and I got the shade golden beige okay so I just put a little bit of foundation on the on my hand and I'm just gonna dot it all over my skin I think this is a good color match and I think I just use like a pump or so And then I'm just gonna clean my hands real quick. This is how it's looking. And if I need more coverage, I'll just um, use a little bit more foundation. Okay, and then I'm just using a basic brush to blend this out. 
I'm using the Real Techniques brush um, and this is the Expert face brush and it just looks like this. So let's see. As you can see, this is just um, pretty much one layer, thin layer, and I don't think I need any more coverage. It blurred my pores just a little bit, but not too much. And I think it's a good color match for my skin tone as well. Like you can see it matches my neck. I am a little bit tanned because you know it's the summer. Um, but yeah, so far so good. So I'm just going to leave it at one layer um, because I don't think I need any more coverage. Um, but so far it filled in my um, pores a little bit. And I'm just going to blend my nose area a little bit I think it's tugging at my nose a little bit but other than that everything looks good and then I'm just gonna use a concealer I have the mini version of my Tarte concealer and this is in shade medium so I'm gonna do my makeup I'll fast forward this part and I'll see you in a second okay Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Just basically finished doing my makeup. I did set my face with the Saturday Skin um, Setting Spray. So this is just their Daily Dew Hydrating Mist. So I just basically set my face with that. And then, yeah, this is how my skin is looking. It doesn't look super mad. Maybe because I'm sweating and stuff, but... My forehead looks a little bit oily or shiny, but... This is how my skin is looking. Oh, I just did a basic like light makeup look. And yeah, so I'll test this out throughout the day. I'll wear the foundation for a few hours and then I'll do like a few check-ins. Um, but this is how my face is looking right now. Um, I feel like the color does match, but I think the shade that I picked up is more on the orange side, I guess. Um, but it doesn't look too bad, so I might just keep the shade if the foundation um, works out for me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I actually quickly changed into a different outfit. And I just wanted to say, like, so far, it's still looking the same way as I when I applied the foundation. And it did want to mention that it feels like I have nothing on my face right now so it feels like skin so the claims were right on that part okay so I'm going for a quick run to CVS I just need to pick up some pictures that I had ordered so I'm just heading up there but this is how the foundation is looking in the natural light so so far I'm still loving it okay, so I just got back from CVS, I grabbed my things, they're in there, and I'm just gonna see if this is transfer proof. So I do see a little bit of makeup in my face mask, so I don't know if it's completely, I guess, um, transfer resistant, but yeah. So I'm just doing another quick check-in. Right now, I believe it is like around 3.45. Um, I'm just doing another quick check-in. You can see my skin. So I do look a little bit dewy and oily. So I'm gonna quickly um, just swap my face. Um, I have the Sephora blotted sheets um, that I recently just got. So blot my face. You can see my oils coming through. See? And I don't think any of the foundation rubbed onto the blotting sheet, but you can see I'm definitely oily. But I feel like if you do have oily skin, it's something you constantly have to do anyways, like blot your face every few hours if your skin looks oily so I feel like I guess anything any foundation that claims to be matte like I feel like you still get oily even if you use like a good primer as well that happens so yeah this is how it's looking now it's like almost I would say around four hours or so since I apply the foundation so yeah, I'm gonna actually go for a quick um, walk with my nephew um, just to get in my steps for the day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then I think that will be my final check-in when I come back from the walk. Hi, 
everyone so i'm just doing a check-in um just going for the walk that i told you guys um this is my skin how it's looking right now it's not too dewy since i uh, bought in my face but yeah this is how it's looking the weather is actually really nice outside i'm here with my nephew hey guys and yeah we're going for a walk hey guys my name is hamza i have a youtube channel too it's hamza xfinity vlogs um you guys can check it out and subscribe to my aunt's channel thank you and how do you think my foundation looks it looks nice it's still blurred and it looks nice natural natural okay. So, I guess my final conclusion with this foundation is I do like it a lot. As you can see, I'm dewy and I guess a little bit oily again because I did go outside for that walk and I just got home. Um, so you can see I do look dewy. But overall, I think the foundation is really good. Um, it does hold on to the um, claims that it looks natural on the skin. It feels like I don't have anything on my face. Another thing was, I think, transfer resistant, which I don't feel like it was because I had my face mask on and it did transfer the makeup onto the mask. So that particular claim, I guess I don't believe. Um, but everything else was good. Um, as you know, I'm more on the oily side. So any foundation whether it's matte or not i always get super oily and dewy so um that's like just like an ongoing thing with me um so overall i would recommend this foundation it's really good um it does not have spf so that's the only thing so if you are gonna go out and you know um, be in the sun and stuff for a long time you should definitely wear spf when you do that underneath the foundation um i did take a flashback this picture i did take a picture with flash so i would have have or maybe i might have have um inserted that clip so you probably see there's no flashback um other than that i do like the foundation a lot um i would recommend it and if you're more on the i guess oily side go for the matte version instead of the regular formulation that they have um and see what happens thank you so much for watching my kind of review of this foundation Please let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!